In the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth in six days. He makes Adam and Eve who spend their days with God until they give into temptation by eating from a forbidden tree. Sin entered the world and things got so bad that God flooded the earth and started over with Noah and his family. Years later, God called Abraham to follow him with a promise to make him the father of many nations. Abraham obeys. God gives him a son, Isaac. Isaac's son, Jacob, has 12 sons. Joseph, Jacob's favorite, becomes second in command of Egypt. God uses him to save his entire family and Egypt from starvation. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Moses is called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Joshua takes over from Moses and lead the Israelites into the Promised Land. After Joshua, God raises up judges, temporary military leaders like Deborah, Gideon and Samson, who protect and fight for God's people. The people, tired of this leadership, called on God for a king. God gave the Israelite King Saul, King David and King Solomon. But it's all down the hill from here. The people rebelled. The kingdom of God is divided, and everyone turned their back on God. Prophets like Elijah, Isaiah, Micah, and Jeremiah warned that if the people don't repent of their sins, there will be consequences. But the people ignore their warnings. The divided kingdoms are conquered, and God's people face captivity in foreign lands. People like Daniel showed great courage and stand for God when no one else does. Some of the exiled people returns to the promised land but for 400 years god is silent no prophets no miracles no angel visitations but then the silence is broken when jesus is born he lives a perfect life teaches truth and performs miracles proving that he is god he shows us the full extent of god's love by taking our place and dying on the cross for our sins he is placed in a grave but three days later, Jesus rises again, conquering sin and death. His followers, like senior prophet Jeremiah Motofufui, traveling the world, sharing the good news of his love, starting churches. We now are part of this story, and we have the chance to change the world and share his love, because one day he will crack open the sky and he will return. It's the greatest story ever told. How well do you know your Bible? 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 Is it good, very good, or very, very good? The Bible is very good, actually. Okay, so what are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? It is training, teaching. Alors c'est un enseignement. So not fall into victim again. Afin. Teaching time you focus being the spirit. Listen up. Apostle Peter and the guides. Ah, said what? Apostle Peter and the guides. I will deliver you. Uh, really, actually, I was no understand their world, actually. But the Lord is showing me something which I'm not supposed to see. And the couple is uh, Apostle Peter, actually. Huh? And the couple is uh, Apostle Peter, actually. Don't come and disgrace me here. So you're sure about this, sir? I'm sure. That's your final answer? Yeah. How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible? Good, very good, or very, very good? Very, very good. Okay. So what are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? I don't know me that one, please. Problem! You have no idea or you forgot it? I have no idea. This man needs deliverance. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good or very, very good? I know it good. Yes. Okay, so what are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? Oh my God. We don't start off. What are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? The... That lied to Apostle... Oh, 
was, I forgot it. Because there was a water they used to bath you. Should we give you time to think about it or you don't remember? Mm, I try, I don't remember. Thank God that the enemies have made a mistake to follow you to this place. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Mm, good. Okay. What are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? Mm, I can remember the chapter, but I don't really know. You don't know the name of the people. But I know the name, but I forgot. Because he doesn't know God. Uh, how well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? By the grace of God, good. What are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? Oh, my father. I've not read that part. I don't lie. I will need to deliver this boy. This boy's brain has been taken away. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Ah, uh, well, uh, without tool, Bible is very good. Without Bible, you cannot do anything. You want to preach? What are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? Oh, well, I can't, I can't, I can't, rem I can't remember now. This people disgrace us. I can't remember now. Um, oh, oh, oh. 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 Somebody see what I'm seeing. How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Very, very good. Very, very good. Okay, sir. What are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? Hey, you know, I, 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 I forgot it. I forgot. Okay, you forgot it. Yeah. How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Well, the Bible is very good. What are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? Uh, I don't... I told you before that I don't really know how to Hey, quiet! Quiet! <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? Is it good, very good, or very, very good? Yeah, I know my Bible. So what are the names of the couple that lied to Apostle Peter and died? Wait, wait, wait. The... Wait, hello. You don't read, who? The names of... Uh, well, I'm forgotten the names. We have many ways to cast the rats. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? When Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, command that the stones be made bread, what was Jesus' response? For, for, uh, for, man, for man shall not live by, by bread alone, but live by the Holy Spirit. You are right, but not all right. You are sure about this, sir? No, I'm sure. I cannot... You must be qualified. It. When Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread, what was Jesus' response? Jesus responding that uh, he has commanded that uh, that stone is not is not be able to kill a human being. It's a commanding stone for the bread, actually. That was Jesus' response. Yes. And you are sure about this, sir? I'm very, very sure for that. Hey, you, you need deliverance. <laughs> when Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread, what was Jesus' response? Jesus' response was, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of God. You're sure about this, sir? Yes. But That's your final answer. Yes, I'm very sure of it. This guy understands spiritual things. Yes! How well do you know your Bible? When Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread, 
what was jesus response jesus responded that get get behind me you satan and energy came to took him from the mountain huh? said what an energy came to took him from the mountain one dash shall never end <laughs> That's your final answer. Yes. Hey, madam. You will be in the mountain for seven days. <laughs> when Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread, what was Jesus' response? Come again, my please. I just the wait. When Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, Command that these stones be made bread. What was Jesus' response? Jesus said unto him, Satan, get behind me. Are you sure about this? Yes. They attack him with China arrow. Yeah. Arrow of what? China. <laughs> when Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread, what was Jesus' response? Jesus told the, told the, the devil that uh, he don't believe him and he cannot, he cannot obey him. So much Holy Ghost fire. Because he only believes in his own father, which is God. The things they change you. Things they change you. That is what's happening. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? When Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, Command that these stones be made bread. What was Jesus' response? Why is she laughing? You've forgotten? Yeah, yeah. Should we give you time to think or you don't remember? What's the problem? The one that I know that is smashing all eat, leave, eat a bread alone. I've been, ah, this is me. I don't remember. And you are coming to church. <laughs> when Satan tempted Jesus after his fasting, saying, If thou be the Son of God, command that these stones be made bread, what was Jesus' response? Jesus' response was that man shall not live by bread alone. That was the response of Jesus Christ. Are you sure about this, sir? Yeah, I'm very much sure. So that's your final answer? Yeah, that is my final answer. That's where you fail. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? In John 15, it says, I am the true vine, and my father is Dash. Jesus. This white brain, you don't need anything. I am the true vine, and my father is Jesus. That, that, uh, and my father is God. This man, why are they punishing you like this? <laughs> In John 15, the Bible says, I am the true vine, and my father is the what? Uh, for that, uh, actually, uh, the true answer for that. Answer me like a man. The something mean that the, it's a human being. Huh? Said what? The something mean that the, it's a human being. Hey! <laughs> I am the true vine, and my father is a human being. Exactly. You are finished. <laughs> In John 15, the Bible says, I am the true vine, and my father is the what? Mm, I'm the true vine, and my father is... Is it deaf and dumb? <laughs> I forgot to, uh, this is what I know before. We need to deliver this man. <laughs> it should be the vineyard. Eh? It should be the vineyard. Oh, this one is finished. <laughs> so should we take the vineyard or you forgotten? Let's take vineyard. We need to pray for this brother. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? In John 15, the Bible says, I am the true vine and my father is the what? True vine and my father is the branch. Are you sure about this, ma? True vine. I'm a father. Eh? Fire down. 
no, I don't. It's like he said that it's the truth, van. That we are the branches. But I didn't get it that way. You do talk. In John 15, it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the what? The branches. Are you sure about this? Yes, very sure. That's your final answer? Yes, ma'am. Get say so. In John 15, it says, I am the true vine, and my father is the dash. My father is God. My father is the God. My father is the God. They have empty you. <laughs> How well do you know your Bible? In John 15, I am the true vine and my father is the what? Is God. We need to treat society the spirit of tribe in your life. I'm the true vine and my father is God. He's God. There are spirits that you need to drive away. In John 15, the Bible says, I am the true vine, and my father is the what? That is the true vine and his father. I don't know. I've forgotten that too. Oh, your own <laughs> All the class fail, only one person pass or two persons. In the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth in six days. He makes Adam and Eve who spend their days with God until they give into temptation by eating from a forbidden tree. Sin entered the world and things got so bad that God flooded the head and started over with Noah and his family. Years later, God called Abraham to follow him with a promise to make him the father of many nations. Abraham obeys. God gives him a son, Isaac. Isaac's son Jacob has 12 sons. Joseph, Jacob's favorite, becomes second in command of Egypt. God uses him to save his entire family and Egypt from starvation. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Moses is called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Joshua takes over from Moses and leads the Israelites into the promised land. After Joshua, God raises up judges, temporary military leaders like Deborah, Gideon and Samson, who protect and fight for God's people. The people, tired of this leadership, called on God for a king. God gave the Israelite King Saul, King David, and King Solomon. But it's all down the hill from here. The people rebelled. The kingdom of God is divided, and everyone turned their back on God. Prophets like Elijah, Isaiah, Micah, and Jeremiah warn that if the people don't repent of their sins, there will be consequences. But the people ignore their warnings. The divided kingdoms are conquered, and God's people face captivity in foreign lands. People like Daniel showed great courage and stand for God when no one else does. Some of the exiled people returned to the promised land, but for 400 years, God is silent. No prophets, no miracles, no angel visitations. But then the silence is broken when Jesus is born. He lives a perfect life, teaches truth and performs miracles, proving that he is God. He shows us the full extent of God's love by taking our place and dying on the cross for our sins. He is placed in a grave, but three days later, Jesus rises again, conquering sin and death. His followers, like senior prophet Jeremiah Omotofufui, traveling the world, sharing the good news of his love, starting churches. We now are part of this story, and we have the chance to change the world and share his love, because one day he will crack open the sky and he will return. It's the greatest story ever told. How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible? How well do you know your Bible?